Hello, this is Hao Han Wang from Carnegie Mellon University, and welcome to the long video presentation of our paper. High frequency component helps explain the generalization of convolutional neural networks. We start by introducing an observation that leads to the misalignment between the human and the models. Let's say we consider ResNet 18 architecture trained on CIFAR 10 images. We grab an image of a car and fade it into the model and get the prediction confidence shown in this figure. We then map this image into its frequency domain with Fourier transform, select the radius, and cut the domain into its low frequency and high frequency counterparts, and reconstruct the images. And finally, we fade these images back to the model and get these prediction results. As we can see, significant misalignment between humans and the models are observed. What we consider is similar to the original image is predicted to be something else, and what we view as pure noise is predicted to be the same label. If one is interested, this is a rescaled version of the high frequency image. Out of all the 10,000 test images of CIFAR-10, we identified a couple hundred images with the above story. Gladly, it does not happen for every image, but a couple hundred should be sufficient enough to raise an alarm. We further study the fundamentals of this problem. Consider a typical machine learning problem where we collect the data and its annotations. Within the samples, there are semantic signals and the superficial signals. Semantic signals align with how we annotate the data. Unfortunately, there are usually some distribution-specific correlations between the semantic signals and the superficial signals. And these signals usually lead to the spurious associations between the superficial signal and the label. While a model is asked to minimize the empirical loss, it will pick up whichever signal it can, leading to the misalignment between the models and the human. Driven by this new understanding of the behavior, we can have a new look of many previous claims. In this paper, we easily proved the trade-off between the accuracy and the robustness. We offer an explanation to the paradox in learning label shuffled data also known as the rethinking generalization problem. We gave a re-examination of many popular heuristics, such as mix-up and batch norm. We also argue that this is one of the roots of the adversarial vulnerability problems. And finally, we even look beyond the image classification problems. Due to the limit of the time, we will only present one of these topics. And even within this topic, we will only present one slice of the discussions. We take, the, uh, we take advantage of our observation to inspect how some heuristics actually help in learning. In particular, we study dropout, which is usually considered as an effective way of regularizing models. Mix up a training heuristics to mix data together and can empirically improve the performance. Batch norm, one of the most popular heuristics in, to improve the performance, and the community is not very well aware of its working mechanism yet. And finally, adversarial training, which is currently one of the most successful adversarial defense methods. We have multiple observations. And here, we only highlight one. Batch norm seems to capture a significant amount of high-frequency signals. This may actually help explain how batch norm manages to improve the empirical performance of many models. And also, this aligns very well with the observation that batch norm encourages adversarial vulnerability. What we have presented here is literally the tip of the iceberg in comparison to the discussions of our paper. For more information, please visit our paper. Or feel free to get connected through emails or Twitter where I will publish relevant discussions. Thank you.